Hello, and welcome to Mazel. I am your host, Rabbi David Katz. <clears throat> we are in the Mazel book, in my opinion, the greatest book ever compiled. Arba Dvarim Halu, Ein Biyad Ha Adam Lishana Ismai Say Yaday Yaitzer Yisbayra Shemo. Four things, these four things are not in the hand of man to change my see the, by, like, the work of his creator. Ksav Shami Eitz Yosef Lekach Manarashi in Yonim Halush Eina Mishtanim Al Yidei Bechira Sayira. So even your free will. From the proper fear of God, cannot change your conditions. Because the question, do you have mazel or not? Does Israel have mazel? Is not really the question. That's what the party liners think the question is. But the question actually is, if you look up the Gemara there in the Sect of Shabbos, can we, granted that we have mazel, Jacques, can we change our mazel? That's the only question the Torah asks on that. And of that thing that we want to change, some things you cannot change. No matter how much fear of God you have, kamo aruch v'katzer, length and shortness, Whiteness and blackness, wiseness and dumbness, richness and poorness. Kimilano Gadol Merebi Elazar ben Padat, Sha'anu Bemesech the Tainis, Shahashim of Ashbarahu Naikh Lechad Achil Alma, Beam Cain, Dalad and Yam Halu Lahud, Amy Yad Adam. You can choose your righteousness, your righteousness, but some things are just the way they are. Everything is decreed upon you except from the fear of heaven. With Tysus Megila, Shinano, the Hakamira, you told us Adam, Emie Chachamo Tipe, Shani Ashir, Gibor Chalash, the Konigs are locked with Megira, Zohar Amalek Hamamina, Allah Hiria, Lila Shemo, Shahu Amalek, Gavil, also Malek Hamamina, Allah Hiria, Lila Shemo. So I was I think it's Shemo or Samo. Let me see here. Moiva was Zoya Parsha Shemo is in Tamar. Surely I saw Malak of Amoina Al Ruchas and Sadikim. I think it's Samu Lila. Vata Omer Shahu Gavriel. Vata Omer Shahu Gavriel. Vachain Kain Hu Vadai Shesamu Lila. Meshum Shabo Mitzad Samel. Makula Aba Mitzad Samel Nikra Ken Lila. Avo. Samu be etzem hu gavrio. Not exactly. Amalekam amoyna all here. It's that you're the time of your conception is when you get your mazel. Hakadosh Baruch Hu kaira le gavriel, the whole like keach neshama me Gan Eden. Gabriel takes a soul from Gan Eden. Omarida le gufo should tzadik, and he descends it into the body of a tzadik that was born in this world. Kain shani nusham b'shash shenoy le gufo should tzadik by the mazeh. Kain rekash baruch le gavriel shehu lakin nusham le haod hashem began shehu hamalchis marida le gufo should tzadik noad by the mazeh. Who gavriel move got a leah with shamra and gavriel says, "Hey buddy, you're going to keep the Torah. You're going to keep the Torah and mitzvahs." Hachida, 
being in his hero saw Adam. Kaasha Adam Pukar the Ishto Miss Averis. Gavriel Sholef or Lukea Tipa Gosh Baruchu Oimer. Whatever Shakash did this but Tipa Zoi. So the whole time that you're being created by mom and dad and the birds and the bees, the angel Gabriel is literally in that drop. And he's declaring your nephish. And he's saying what you're going to be. So the time you're being conceived and your DNA strands are going crazy and blonde and blue and all your what you're going to be, Gabriel the angel is inside there determining your mazel. How this is profound, Jock. Because at that time your name is created. Your name is prophetic. So your parents don't even know what's going on on every level. They're getting ready to name you by your name. If your name is Bob Jones in nine months from now. So that Bob Jones is percolating for nine months, and then mom at the end is like, hey, let's name him Bob. But in that whole time, the reason why she wanted to name him Bob was because she carried Bob for nine months, type one. So she understood on a non-articulated level all about Bob, right? She knows when Bob eats. She knows when Bob sleeps, and you learn the whole Torah in the womb. So mom, in this pregnancy, sleeps on her left side. And then when she bore John, she slept on the other side. And when she bore Bill, she slept on the other side. Meanwhile, all that tossing and turning is creating the mazel for this kid. So at the time of conception... Whatever Bob is going to be at, on birthday, Bob was at the time of the conception, was he not? Were any of you any different on day one than you are now? It's impossible to say you're different. Your DNA is the same, type one. So all of your life, grace or zachim, is programmed in your physical flesh. And therefore, in your flesh, if it was ordained by God, I think we can agree that our physical condition was ordained by God, can't we? The, the color of your hair, you know for a fact it's a DNA chromosome issue. And you know that your parents couldn't figure it out if all the money in the world depended on it. So therefore, who made you the way you are on a very superficial level? Was it not God, type one? So if God already made you, and that became your name, because remember, when you popped out, mom said, oh, let's name it this, based on what was going on in nine months of you being you. And the whole Torah was around you. So in that time, you were learning Torah in the womb because you didn't know not to, type one. Basically, when there's nothing else to do in the world, you learn Torah. The Yitzhar Horror distracts you, so you don't learn Torah. So in that time, when you had no Yitzhar, you are not being a problem to mom. You are being you. And you are developing those brown eyes and blonde hair. Gabriel was in your mazel kishkes. Determining how smart you are, how tall you are, how wise you are, and all you all that you become in you will determine how righteous or wicked you are with their, based on your fear of heaven. Isn't that something? So if you can believe that you have brown hair and brown eyes, then you should believe. And you believe that that was a DNA, um, what do you, a chain reaction, right? You are just a chain reaction of your of your. What do you call it again? Your um, what do you call it? Conception. You are a chain reaction 
Why, why can't there be spirituality there? If, if we already know that your name is going to be influenced prophetically by your parents, which we can believe that too. So your spiritual gifts were in there by Gabriel. Yes, male and female is also given by Mazel. Your vessels to serve God also were given to you. Okay. So, Adam, you were in a, in, a, in a fictitious scenario here. Your righteousness is that you can see very well, type one, in our little fictitious scenario here. So, I can give you a Torah book, Ado, and you'll get it just like that. So, what God did was in the womb you are given tremendous eyesight to help you. Now, what God does is he camouflages it, right? So when you were in grade school, Ado, they said, well, you're not too bright, kid. And you said, why? I think I'm smart. They said, you're blind as a bat, kid. So it turns out in the Matrix, you're blind. Right, you, you don't see the way they want you to see. They want you to see your know, standardized test, da 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 da. But Ado had tremendous peripheral vision. So you were a slacker in school, but you got by because you never missed a beat. Right? When the teacher wrote on the chalkboard, you took it in, even though you didn't even need to pay attention, because you can see with perfect peripheral vision. So you slacked because you had so much talent, you didn't need to try very hard. And they said you were blind and dumb, and you weren't going to get very far. Then you found God, and it turns out you see everything. Everything. You, 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 the, the rabbi's teaching, and you say, hey, isn't that a Gemara in Tosfus? And they say, how did you know that? You say, oh, I, I remember seeing it in the shul. Before I walked out, there was like a piece of paper there. All right, one or two. Do you guys caught my analogy here? One or two. So that's mazel, right? It's a challenge, your gifts, but when you cultivate your gifts, you realize everybody is special, and it's not the left-wing liberal, we all get a trophy. Everybody truly is special and has gifts, but you have to earn them because they're not conventional. I mean, they, they, they can be, but most likely your gifts are not going to be conventional. You have to discover them. That's what Mazel is all about, is discovering your gifts. Uh, let's do what, what time is it? 10 to 8. So your, your poorness and richness are tests for your service of God. Yaris Dvash, Xeris Mukletis, Belohaisa Bahira, Yaris Dvash, Sari Varusha Loka Amarki, Ilu Amru Haya Dvar, Bixera Mukletis, Vaisa Bahiris Biad Ish. Sayaki Ilu Amru Haya Hadvar Bixera Mukletis, Velohaisa Bahira. What is that? What is that? What is that? All right. Ah, no one can say that you're going to be righteous or wicked because that would be a decree and it wouldn't be a result of Bechira and it has to be a result of Bechira, which is free will. Do one more, we'll stop. 
Maris Ayan Rag Vibor Gors Baruch Machria Havel Yedia Sosha Gors Baruch Lea Machrechus. Bal Maris Ayan Ksav Shema Rabba Shulachin Dai Shirazal Taligo Russia Loka Amar La Oyer Sharak Vibor Shogaj Baruch Machria O Mashumka Taligo Russia Loka Amar Havel Yedia Sosha Gors Baruch Lea Machrechus. Havel Yedia Sosha Gors Baruch so it doesn't say that you're going to be a Russia or a Tzadi because the, the, the arousal of the word of God makes it happen. And because of that, Tzadi and Russia, it doesn't say, Aval Yediya so shalakosh baruchu ena machreches. Again, Aval Yediya so shalakosh baruchu. The knowing of God ena machreches. Is not known. Uh, well, you do so. I think that's a Gemara. Nida 16b. Let's look that up. 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 Does it say it? Ah, here we go. Kach shachago tibesh va'ashir o ani ve'ilu rasha otzay lo ka'amar kadam rechanina kadam rechanina kadam. Let's be irish. Let me show you more. Yeah, so it doesn't say if you're going to be righteous or wicked. And this is coming from the Marasayan commentary. Rock the. Uh, the only thing that happens is what God says. Ah, but what God thinks doesn't happen. So if God says you're going to be this or that, you're going to be, that's how you, that, that's, a, that's an unchangeable fact. But if God thinks and doesn't say it, then that is a sign that you can change your mazel. So we know that God has thoughts, right? Makshava. God does not say you're going to be righteous or wicked, because then you really would be what God said. If God thinks, I think you're going to be this or that, that is what you would perceive as a test, and your job is to do tshuva and, and basically change God's thoughts, and then God can say, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Whatever, and then just go from there. The idea is when, when it's set in stone, it's set in stone. When it's not, it's not. That's all for this week. Thank you for coming. Live fantastic mazel, and I will see you tomorrow in class. Goodbye.